Hello everybody, just going through the questions here, page two. So, 75 take five times five. So if you use PodMass, whatever version of this that you've heard in school, PedMass or whatever, you've got to make sure that you pretty much just have brackets first. Have the O or the E just to make it an actual word. Division and multiplication be one category and addition and subtraction the other. So there's no brackets in this one. So we first go to DM, we've got a multiplication, so that has to be done first. Five times five is 25. 75 take 25 will be 50. You can do a little subtraction on the side if you needed to for that one. B, same thing, multiplication comes first. Six times six is 36. 6 plus 36 is 42. Okay, here we do have a bracket. So brackets has to come first. 3 plus 2 is 5. 45 divided by 5. You know your times tables. That is 9. Okay, uh, next one. So we've got a fair bit of stuff going on over here. So for division and multiplication, they're both in the same category. So you just have to work from left to right. 17 times 2 is 34. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Now you do subtraction. 34 take 3 is 31. Okay. Now for this is question 3. Put brackets into these numbers to make them true. So I guess you could always just experiment if you wanted. So for example, I knew straight away 7 plus 4, or 7 times 4 is 28. 15 plus 28 won't get me this. However, if I put it over here, 15 plus 7 is 22. 22 times 4 is 88. For B, I need to get 11. So if I put it around the first two numbers, 18 take 9, that'll give me 9. 9 take 2 won't get me 11. So maybe if I've got to put it around the next two numbers. 9 take 2 is 7. 18 take 7 will get me 11. So it's just a bit of trial and error. Okay, for the next one. Got a few more numbers here. If I put brackets around the first two, so that'll be 32. And then I've got to take 10. 2 times 5 is 10, that will get me 22. So my first guess was correct. Remembering that multiplication would happen before the subtraction because they're different categories, okay? I'm going to do the same again. I'll put brackets around the first two and see how that goes. 16 divided by 8, that will get me 2. 2 take 4 won't get me 4. So if I can't go around the first two numbers, I guess it has to go around second and third number. 8 take 4 is 4. 16 divided by 4 is of course 4. Add in the operation to complete these number sentences. Okay, so I'm trying to get from 5 to equal 7. So that means then it has to go up. So realistically that means this will be up 6 minus 4. That means that it has gone up by two in total. That will be correct. For B, it's the other way around. We're getting from five to three, which means we need to go down more than we go up. So we'll say we'll go up here and down there. You can also just experiment. You try with different symbols and see what happens. Five plus four is nine, take six is three. Good enough. Okay, here, we've got to go from five to 29. So that's quite an increase. So I've got to think of a few different things that I could do here. Um, if I do 5 times 4, we'll get 20. Plus 6 will still be only 26. Another option could be to add and then multiply. Because if you do that, You've got to do the multiplication part first, as it says in BODMAS. Multiplication comes before the addition subtraction. Uh, 4 times 6 equals 24. 
5 plus 24 will get me my 29. Now this one, I need to go from 5 to 15. So I guess I wish I could times it by 3. Let's see what we have here. If I go 5, take 4, that won't really help me, I don't think. If I go 5 times 4, it would be 20, take 6. That also won't really work. This might be a little bit of a tricky one. What can we do here? 5 plus 4 plus 6. Yeah, that's as easy as it needs to be. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 6 is 15. Easy enough. All right, last little section for this page. Just the camera a little bit more. Okay, what is the missing number on these number lines? So there's minus 8, there's 8. That's a span of 16. So 16 is our span. Half of 16 is 8, which means that this middle part must be 8 away from minus 8 and 8 away from 8. So 8 take 8 will be 0. And that's obviously going to be 8 more than minus 8. Now in the middle of 0 and 8, so that's like a span of 8, and half of 8 is 4, so that's what this number in the middle must be, 4. That's, that's a bit messy. So we've just got to try and use the same logic again. This time from minus 6 to 4, that's a span of 10. 4 take minus 6 equals 10. That's how many numbers there are from one to the other, okay? So, because there's 10, and we've got one section, two section, three section, four section, five section, that means if we've gone 10 in total, and there's one, two, three, four lines before we get to our fifth line, that means we've gone up by 10 divided by five equals two. We're going up by two every time. So this should be minus four, minus two, zero, two, four. So if this is minus two and this is zero, the in between, of course, will be minus one. And let's use the same logic for the bottom one there. I'll even zoom in. Focus. And we'll go to black this time. So again, the span from minus 10 to 10, if I did 10 minus minus 10, it means, of course, plus for the two minuses, you get 20. So we've got a span of 20. And we're going to do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 jumps. So 20 divided by those 5 jumps is 4. So we should really be going up by 4 every time. So we're going to go from minus 10 to minus 6 plus another 4 to minus 2, plus another 4 to 2, plus another 4 to 6, plus another 4 to 10. So it all works out. Minus 2 is my answer. If you've got any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thank you so much for your time.